So this video is inspired by a comment from a user, from a subscriber on my channel. And you can see here that I have this video that shows how to measure seed area. This particular video can also be used in doing analysis for measuring leaf lengths or any other type of quantitative analysis you want to do on an image. This particular user is interested in filling only a few parts of the cells and not all like I showed in my analysis here. So I'm going to show you how to do this in image J. If you open up your image J, you will get these tabs up that will allow you to be able to do your analysis. Because I do not have any image that I want to use for today's uh, tutorial, I'm going to be taking from the database for, of image J by going to file, open samples, I'm going to be selecting the embryo cells. This embryo's image shows different type of cells, the one that have ruptured, the one that are just about to be ruptured, and the ones that are still intact. Let's, for instance, we are interested in shading only the intact cells. What we are going to do is to click, after you've opened the image you want to work with, first let's tell image J to find the edges of each of these cells. And to do that, we go to process, select find edges. So if you select find edges, you see that it has transformed this image and this particular image, because it's still in RGB format, we can see the edges of each of the cells glowing with a black background. The next thing we want to tell image J is that now that you have this, that you found the edges, we want you to make the image a binary image. So you go to process binary and tell it to make binary. Now, it has removed the coloring, the yellow background of the image that we had earlier and also the, sh the colored in uh, inside of the cell. So we have the perfect edges of each of these cells. Now, to fill the cells that we are interested in, we are going to be using the magic wand tool that is available in image J. And to select the magic wand tool, each of these two, each of these uh, selection tools are for selecting or highlighting cells or whatever you want to highlight in a particular image. This is the wand tracing tool that I'm going to be using. If you click on that, just click once and then select the cell you're interested in. If you look closely, you can see that the cell I'm interested in, let me zoom in so that you can Sorry, let me zoom in very well so that you can. So this perfectly run cells, I'm interested in it. And if I choose my magic wand tool and I select it, you can see the yellow uh, ring that is highlighting the inside of that cell. If you're interested in quantifying the outside of the cell, just click at the outside of the cell. If you click inside, if you do your measurements, it's going to be providing you the information with the inside. So you might need to click many times to decide on which area of the cell you want to highlight. Because I want this tutorial is not about telling you where to quantify or to quantify, what I'm going to do first is to show you how to fill the cells that you are interested in. So once you, are, sorry, I have dropped the magic wand, select it again, click on it. Once you've selected the cell you want to fill, go to edit and select fill. This will shade the image, the cells for you. So now you can see that one has been shaded. We can repeat this process by selecting the other cells that are available by just selecting inside that cell and clicking Command R if you are using a uh, MacBook. If you are using a window uh, keyboard, when you click on the cell, that should be Control R, R for rabbit. If you if Control R is not working on your particular computer, if you click on process, just come to the last part that says repeat command. It will let you know which symbol on your keyboard you need to click to repeat a command. So because I have two more cells to fill, I'm just going to click on that cell and then click repeat command and tell it to repeat command. So now I have the five cells perfectly shaded. Now you can decide to make quantify these five cells and I'm going to put the link at the, uh, at the edge of the video on how to do your measurement so as not to make this video to be long. So I'm going to put this link just by the left side of your screen up here. 
now we can click that you can decide to measure each of these cells alone by then clicking on it go to analyze tell it to measure and now you have the information about this particular cell that i have and you can see it has colored that particular cell and assigned a number that number is because it's the first cell if i click on another cell and i click on m also that also has been measured you can see now number two the information of cell number two if you want to set the parameters not to number each of those cells before analysis, you can first save this image so that the numbering is not going to be shown. Alternatively, you can go to analyze and click on set measurement. Select the parameters you are interested in extracting from the image that you are quantifying and then you click OK. So when, therefore, when you then come to analyze and you click on measure, it will give you the details of each of those cells are numbered. If you don't want the shading to come on the analysis, when you click on analyze particle, you can remove the overlay. And then that way, when you do your next analysis, it shouldn't, in your pre next analysis that you're going to load, it will not be showing the, the numberings that is currently shown in each of these um, cells that we've shaded. So that is it on how to make, how to fill a particular area of your cell for analysis and now we can save this image file save as you can save it as jpeg since the original image is in jpeg and we save it as embryos number one now i close this and here i have the information so on how to save the how to analyze all the cells in a single click that video that i tagged on the corner of the screen that link will take you to how to do the analysis. Thank you for watching today's video. If you find this video useful, don't forget to click the like button. If there's a particular tutorial you would like me to record, please leave a comment and give me a full de uh, detail or description of what you want to do so I can um, research the analysis and then bring you a video that you will love. Thank you and goodbye.